Hello YouTube, what is up? This is the Wade Swamberger, and today I'll be bringing you some more Mega Man X4. Before you say, are we done with Mega Man X4? Did you already complete that game? Yeah, we completed the X story. The Zero story, though? Oh, that's just beginning, baby. Because here's the thing. The true star of Mega Man X4 is Zero. And I mean that in every way, for good and for bad. Story zero, gameplay zero. Oh, this is going to be Vunava. Oh, here we go, baby. <laughs> oh, because here's the thing: zero story in Mega Man X4. Just watch. Just watch. Don't. Don't even. I I'm not even going to talk for these cutscenes. I'm going to keep my mouth shut. Who are you? My masterpiece. But who are you? After him, he is my nemesis. Our rivalry is what gets me motivation in life. Now go. Destroy him. That's an order. But wait. Yep, this is the level of voice acting in Mega Man X4. Cause Zero's voice acting is a joy to behold. And... Oh, everything about Zero's story is just so great and so fucking wrong at the same time. It manages to be amazingly bad. So, let's switch this over to L2, switch dash over to R2, there we go, we're good to go, baby. Okay, so Zero functions differently. He doesn't have a buster like X, or even like he did in X3. Instead, he has his Z, he only has a Z saber. But on the other hand, he also learns, learns new moves for this game. So, it's a, so effectively, Zero Story of Mega Man X4 is a 2D hack and slash game. But yeah, we're... We do go through the same stages as X, which kind of makes you wonder why the fuck are you doing this again? Because you gain new abilities, you gain different. The entire playstyle is basically radically ch changed for, for playing a Zero. And really, that voice acting, that that voice acting. Oh god, we're gonna get more deep into it later, especially near the end. But holy shit, that is the thing memes are made of, folks. That is just oh, I love it. I I actively. I am in love with it. Dragoon? You're in the 14th unit. Why? This doesn't look good, Zero. That Maverick took out the power. What? The Sky Lagoon will come crashing into the ground. Yes, and destroy the entire city. We have to do something. It's too late. I must escape now. You best do the same, Zero. If the sky looking falls, it will be disastrous. <laughs> There's no time. I'm going down. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing the speed race thing again. Fuck it. I'm at least doing that for the first half because, oh, it's a glory. It, 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 to be fair, that's not much better than the actual voice acting. The carnage. It's horrible. Those Mavericks will pay for this. All right, so we are. Oh, we're at the sky looking at phase two. Okay, it's not too bad. It's. It's actually a lot easier because you have the sword and you can just get up to those uh, wall crawlers from X's story and just beat them. You know, a fair. The difficulty from X Zero story is that he has to get. Oh shit, that was a little too much. The difficulty in Zero's playthrough is that he has to be up close in order to attack. So you pretty much expose yourself. You have to pretty much willingly expose yourself to danger, and it does actually really change up the gameplay. And I like how it changes up the gameplay. 
Zero is one of the coolest characters to play as in the Mega Man X series, and H4 really does benefit from adding Zero. In terms of gameplay, in terms of story, well... Well, we're getting to the other story element that... Oh, God. Ah, uh, here we go. Iris. Oh. What a glory. Oh, uh, this is fantastic. Yeah. If you'll recall in X's story, the Colonel mentioned that he'd come to the Sky Lagoon in the first place to save his sister. Well, you just read his sister. Oh. Oh. God, what a glory to behold. Have you ever heard, uh, Gail. Have you ever read Gail Simone? One of Gail Simone's essays. Gail Simone being one of the foremost writers in comic books right now, and I believe she was the right she was the writer of Batgirl up until last year. She coined the term "women in refrigerators," basically women who die for the benefit of the male character. Oh boy! Oh, Iris is the fucking epitome of that term. And it's wonderful. Ah, uh, Jesus Christ. I'm sorry, I completely skipped this. But it's basically the same thing. I need your disarm to come back to me now. I can't do that. That would be stupid. Be booby face move. It's like, but you'll be labeled a maverick. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. And if I give a shit, I might just give a fuck. Colonel, 1997. <laughs> or 21XDX. Whatever! Uh, and we got Iris here. Yeah! Iris is also... Iris takes doubles place. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. And yeah, I did spoil her fate because... Well... As you will very much soon learn, you have no reason to care about Iris. None at all. And that's really half the glory. It's that they expect you to give a shit, but holy fuck, can you not be bothered to give a shit? I mean, the amount of fucks you do not give, and yeah, we're just going to the, uh... We're just going to the bosses here. And we're gonna go for Magma Dragoon first, because there's no upgrades to get for Zero. Zero's upgrades come, don't come from Dr. Light Capsules. They come from heart tanks and beating bosses. And given that the only thing we need to get are heart tanks and energy tanks, well, we're going to have a bit of an easier time. Oh, God, yes. Oh, <laughs> uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is... Zero's story is one of the things I love to talk about. The wasted fucking potential, to the the insipid voice acting, the god awful story, all of it. I just, it's the one thing I love to talk about here. Ah, uh, but for, I guess I must, if I must, I'll talk about the f story about how Zero plays. He has combos for his Z Saber, and yeah, like I said before, he can upgrade his Z Saber. He can dash like, a oh fuck's sake! Well, we're dead. What are we fighting for? <laughs> Yeah, that's where this term goes from, folks. Oh boy. Uh. <laughs> Enjoy this too. Uh. Also, I skipped. Yes, I know I skipped that cutscene. But to be honest, they just go over the same shit you learn in the X playthrough. The Rebel Force are rebelling because they think they're being mistreated by humanity. And this is really where I need to get into the story problems. We never got the idea that the Reploids were mistreated by humanity. We just got the idea that Sigma's a fucking dick. But is your Sigma's a dick with an actual complaint? Well, that kind of changes the whole thing up. It makes the whole thing more morally ambiguous. Are you the good guys, or are you just imposing the tyrannical will of a government? Because the only other option is full-out genocide against humanity. I mean, that's... Actually, that, that is appropriately dark, but sadly, fuck's sake! They never go deeper into that. They just kind of, like, they're the dick. It's like, same as a dick, but why is he a dick? Because he wants to kill everyone. Okay. But it's like, 
they didn't really bring up the fact that Sigma might actually have a point, that humans might actually be douchebags here. And, well, yeah. It's... It's strange. And, yeah, I know I'm not talking about much, because we're going through the same... Talking about the gameplay much? Well, that's because we're just going through the same fucking obstacles that we were as X. So it's like, there's no point. Unless you just want to hear this over and over. Oh, shit. Okay. But, yeah. It's like... <laughs> part of the problem with X4 is that, well, it, the story goes for the big things, but it constrains itself to the classic Mega Man style, and that's its greatest downfall. It, the classic Mega Man style doesn't give you much time for story development. So, the whole thing kind of suffers as a result. But I think I'll talk about that more or less when we get to actually playing the game. Uh, when we get to the credits. But we got the right armor again, and yes, we are going to beat this motherfucker with the right armor. I guess that. But I should probably just die here, huh? Although, the fair, Zero's voice acting isn't nearly as bad as X's was. It, not when you're in combat. When it's in actual story time, that's when the problem comes in. Also, yeah, the mysterious bearded old, the mysterious old man looked suspiciously like Dr. Wily at the Mega Man games. Well, because as we'll figure out in X5, Dr. Wily built Zero. Because Zero was initially Dr. Wily's last resort robot. Basically, if Dr. Wily were to ever fail, be captured, or killed, Zero was slated to kill everything. Zero, it's really you. Why did you betray us? Answer me, Dragoon! I have no answer for you, my friend. Dragoon? Alright. So, once again, it's a case of Street Fighter this shit up. Haha, <laughs> I can just stand here and just attack him. Fantastic. Oh, shit. Okay, hop in, hop in, hop in. Ah, crap. Ah, my eyes are acting up for some reason. It's fucking throwing me off my game here. And yeah, that was easy. Oh, shit. <laughs> the right armor blew up. Whatever. I still killed the boss. I wanted to... Th you. Then he appeared. He? Who? He who? <laughs> he told me he'd give me power only if I worked for Repliforce. What? I couldn't refuse the offer. Sorry, Zero. Dragoon. And yeah, now he's dead. <laughs> Dragoon's dead. You know, I think my main problem is that there's a, a lot of people die in this story. A lot of fucking people die, and well, the problem is they expect you to feel a lot. You know, they expect you to emotionally tear up and feel really bad about it, but the problem is they do not give us a reason to care. We have no reason to give a shit about these characters, these people. Why should we care? What what's our motivation? You know? Do we how long have we known these characters? Well, we only just met them, and basically their entire world's about to be flipped up upside their head. It's like they wanted the tragedy of it all, but they never actually They wanted the tragedy of it all, but they never bothered actually writing in a reason for us to give a shit. They forgot to develop characters. They want, you know, stories like The Fall of Our Stars and Romeo and Juliet, where characters are supposed to die, at least set up your characters and give you motivation, plot, even if it is really stupid and insipid looking at you, Shakespeare. 
but they still give give you reasons to care about the characters. And really, I think the real tragedy of Romeo and Juliet is the fact that Mercutio died. I liked Mercutio. Mercutio was awesome, okay? But in tragedies like that, they worked because they spent some time developing our characters. Not so much Romeo and Juliet, but Fault in Our Stars did. A lot, actually. A lot of time building up the characters. And when the tragedy actually did occur, you really cared. And I can't say that about X4, unfortunately. You, you, ha you have no reason to care about the fact that all these people are dying, all these characters are dying. Fuck. Sorry. Attacking my gams off here and storming me off my game! But yeah, we went through wa Frost Wallers because we have the, uh... We have the fire attack, and that's actually really helpful against, uh... That's Frost Wallers' weakness. Yeah, just like in the... Zero run, just like in the X run through, Magma Dragoon is Frost Walrus' weakness. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. Okay, now we gotta get this thing, which. Yeah, you know how that was easy, easy in the X story with the. Uh, yeah, we can't get that just yet. We have to wait till we get the double jump and then come back here and get it. And yes, there's a double attack jump. We get a double jump in this stage. There we go. Yeah. For Magnus, we have the Ryujin, which is literally a Shoryuken. We literally got a Shoryuken there. Shit. Okay. Down we go. And we're through. Okay. So, much like with X, this hand thing is best defeated by Ryujin. I think it's a bit easier with Zero. So, because Ryujin does a lot of damage. I think it does more damage than X's weapon did. But don't quote me on that. Problem is, I don't want to take on Web Spider until I have full health and sub tanks and all that stuff, is because, well, I, with X's story, you can easily avoid Web Spider's web attack with the, uh. Um. Frick, I forgot what it was. The, uh. Oh, yeah. You can easily avoid Web Spider's web attack because you had. You relied on rain. Your weapon was ranged. With zero, you don't have that luxury, and th you know that makes that web attack too easy to grab me. You know, I don't feel comfortable doing it until I have a higher, high enough health. Okay. Also, zero Z saber can destroy uh, projectiles. Yeah, it destroys projectiles. That's actually a pretty cool property. Oh shit. All right. Okay, there we go. Alright, we still need to get the, uh... There we go, weapon tank. Okay, there we go. So that wasn't a bottomless pit. I only ever been this way before. Is this supposed to be the way we're going? I actually don't recall. Crap, right. Up, uh, nope, never mind. This is just a minefield. This is just an alternative route to go to the ice field. We do want to keep going to the right. Sorry. Go. Okay, and yeah, these bird fuckers return again, but once again, Zero does have the combo advantage there. And that really is the strongest thing, the combo. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah. I do like how you can set the combo to any pace you want, and we're gonna fail. 
And now it's a winner of Wonderland. Not the winner hellhole, but you know, whatever. Can't all be winners, right? Alright, so now we have the boss. This shouldn't be too hard, though. Once again, Frost Walrus is pretty fucking easy. If you get his weapon, that is. Frost Walrus is pretty easy with his weapon. What's that blonde kid up to? I don't have time for you, Junior. Hey, shut up and fight already. Oh, that does it. You're going down. Alright, so let's go. Yeah, so in order to activate the right engine, you just need to press up and special weapon. Up and your special attack, which is triangle. Special attack is triangle, at least on default. You can change that if you want. Yeah, motherfucking Ryujin that shit up. Stop setting me on fire, you dick! Okay, come on. There we go. And we did it! Fuck yeah! See, that wasn't too bad. And we're, like, a fourth of the way through. <laughs> Fantastic! So we, now we get Hyru at Susan. Hyru at Susan. Hyo Ret Susan. Fuck it, Susan. Down plus special weapon button. Basically, it's a dive attack. You basically turn your sword into a giant block of ice and attack. Giant ice saber. Ice saber. That sounds cool. But we're gonna use that next time on Jet Stingray. But until then. Then please be sure to check check me out on Tumblr at thewaitsmelburner.tumblr.com and be sure to follow me on Twitter at Smellburner. And I'll be seeing you guys next time.